part of the school day for a lot of kids. I know when I was a kid, recess. And now it is making a comeback after years of being forgotten in the name of academic achievement. But two more Central Texas school districts say recess time is now part of their policy. Chris Davis joins us live with a closer look at why, Chris, they say it helps when it comes to making kids learn even more. Yeah, good morning, Sally and John. And this is the part that I hated so much about elementary school, when you'd get in trouble in school. And I promise, Mom, that wasn't happening very often. But you'd get in trouble, and you'd have to walk laps when you came out to recess. Instead of playing on this beautiful playground here, you'd hear and see your friends playing. But instead of joining them, you'd be here where I am, just walking around the edge. Now, under these new policies, that's no longer going to be an option at Maynard ISD or Leanne. Under ISD and health researchers, researchers say that is a step in the right direction. Go play, Corbin. Let's be honest, it's not just the kids who appreciate recess. Oh, they're full of energy, so coming out to recess is an awesome way for them to release energy. You okay? Rose Ann Chavez teaches second grade for Maynard ISD <laughs> this year, every day. Just 20 minutes really quick, yeah. This is required. And it's just a much needed brain break. Yeah. No one ever underestimates the importance of reading and math, but People can underestimate the importance of play. Specifically, unstructured play. Hey guys, let's keep our hands off each other. Just kids being kids. This could be the only time in a kid's day where they get to choose how they spend their time. Central Health says recess improves listening skills, cooperation, academic success, plus a whole bunch of interpersonal skills. The new policies say teachers can't take it away for punishment or test prep. Think about what your favorite part of the school day was when you were a kid. It was recess time, and that's what we're trying to get back to. Yep, time to go. Even a small break can mean big advantages. They are so much more focused than um, if they just sit in the classroom the whole time. Yet. For teachers and kids. Bye. <laughs> Now, these policies were developed through the Central Health Equity Policy Council, and they say that's because that this is, uh, in the end, also an equity issue. It turns out that uh, lower-income students, these researchers say, are guaranteed recess less often, and so policies like this help to level the playing field. We'll send it back to you. I'm sure you never got in trouble at <laughs> recess time, Chris. Not Rarely. You. Rarely. <laughs> I'll say that. Hey, thank you for that. You may remember Austin ISD had a similar policy that they wrote back in 2016. Now, its policy prevents teachers, yes, from taking away recess time. The district says it views that unstructured time is necessary and not as a reward for the kids. Several other central district t Texas districts also have similar policies or are working on them right now. But some states are moving to require unstructured recess for all of their school districts. Texas is not one of those states, though. State law requires a certain amount of PE, 30 minutes a day or 135 minutes a week. It does not require unstructured recess.